at this play, there are no lines to remember, or any seats for that matter. Being Faust and to Mephisto is an interactive mobile application of German writer Goethe's famous play Faust. And now I have the pleasure to talk to the director of this modern rendition, Peter Lee. Hello, Mr. Lee. Thank you very much for having us here. Hi, thank you for having me here. It's my pleasure. I have sort of a housekeeping mm -hmm. question here. Right. So the audience needs to download the app called Antimephisto. Yes. And they should have at least 80% of battery life. Um, to be safe. To be, to be safe. And they're going to be using their own internet data. How does that work for the audience? Uh, it's actually, we've been uh, running the show for six years, so we've been uh, working hard to make sure uh, it's, the application is lean, so you use your data, but you don't have to use lots of data, and the battery, the same issues. And interestingly, when we started about you know, six years ago, then people were really worried about the data and the batteries, but nowadays it's gotten a little better. People are a little more chill about the data. I suppose stuff. it's easier now. It's easy enough. Yeah. Um, and you're also a game designer. So my next question is about the technology aspect of this play. When there is an app, um, you have a lot of expectations. Um, like I was curious, uh, what am I going to see? Am I going to see these settings? Right. So, so you are as a, so the whole theater turns you into a shop uh -huh. run by Mephisto. Oh. So we, are not focusing on retelling the story of the Faust entirely because I think uh, book does it well and then the play is fantastic experience. So when we actually try to reimagine and then um, recreate sort of a experience of Faust for the 21st century, we thought instead of retelling the story, can we put players, the audience into the role of the Faust so not the entire story, but can we actually put them into the moment that Faust making deal with the devil and then see how far are you willing to go to satisfy your desire. So, so we were focusing on that moment of choices. So uh, you won't be seeing heaven or you won't be seeing the earth and hell, nothing like that. But however, you will be experiencing the moment as a Faust to make your own decision about what you wish and what you are willing to sacrifice. That's and what it is. And how are we going to do that? How are we going to make those decisions? Right. So um, I, will, I will give you these cards. Uh -huh. So when the audience comes before the theater opens up, we give these 12 cards. These 12 cards has values that you may desire in life. Here it says, for instance, freedom, love, family, knowledge, wealth, pleasure and progress. Oh, and lastly, power and youth. Right. So you're asked to make a choice. So out of 12 values, you would pick six values you desire. Mm. And then you also have to prioritize. So you have to think about something like this. So oh, love is important. Yeah. But I also desire for money. And maybe money is more important or maybe love is more important or maybe family for that matter. Is family more important than love or not? And it depends on the people. It depends on the people. So what we wanted to do was we asked simple question, but we wanted to create the moment. The decision is all yours. There's no one is influencing. It's about you. So before audience get into the theater, before the theater doors open, they're sort of uh, having these choices, somewhat simple, but this is kind of like genuine human question that yeah. makes you kind of like go, oh, okay, what should I want? And then you might pick like what your friends or, you know. That's you exactly what Goethe was doing in Faust. Exactly. Even though you don't have the same format, mm -hmm. this is in essence what he's doing right, to humanity, right, right. making us question our values and what we can sac sacrifice for exactly, them. Exactly, exactly. I'd like to move on to the, to the title, yes. if you like. Um, so, like the original text, it sounds like it has two parts, being Faust and to Mephisto. First of all, the first part. Um, what does being Faust mean in this play? Because when I read the title, I was like, 
Interesting. So it's not just Faust, it's being Faust. What's the intention there? Because oftentimes when people come to the play, they expect the story to be told. So they expect some That's great story. That's the old way of exactly. storytelling. Right. So someone prepares and then do, hopefully, do good and amazing storytelling to you. And being Faust means what, what I call, I think we need to change to story playing, means there is a story to tell, but instead of you listening to the story, you will become a Faust. And then so you're the, by playing the Faust role, you complete the story. So it becomes your own. So that's sort of the metaphor. So every audience who's invited to being Faust becomes Faust. And then they're faced in the moment with the devil. That's, what, that's my second question, because the second part of the title is a stage direction. Enter Mephisto. So if I'm Faust, does that mean I have a companion as a demon? Yes, so is your companion, Mephisto will be your friends and your guide and shopkeeper of this experience. So just like what devil does, they sound so nice and friendly and yes. attractive, right? But they don't really mean good things to you, right? So, so in the shop, like, so in Mephisto and company, the store, the shop, you can purchase anything your heart desires mm -hmm. as long as you're willing to pay the price. Uh, what do you pay? What's the price? So in the classical, the original, you it's will- It's the soul. Your soul, right. But in, I, in 21st century, the devil doesn't need your soul, but what devil need is your data, friends information. <laughs> so you're selling, you'll be selling your friends, you know. You may, uh, you may sell your family members, you may decide to sell your cats, dogs, loved one, or maybe some important figure in history that you may decide to but sell. How would you decide? So, so that's, the, that's, that's the question. So the interesting thing is that it's a game, so you're not really selling your mother or your family members. However, when you are faced with these questions, it's interesting question or it's kind of like huh like now you're asking me to sell these people it's so bizarre it's a bizarre but i think that's what it is in in life in some sense in order for you to achieve something it sometimes maybe it's you but sometimes it's someone else has to be sacrificed and oftentimes we forget yeah we forget what it is so so this is the moment you sort of face do you know have, or have you ever think about what it takes, you know, yeah. or what your desire actually is asking you to sacrifice? So that's one of the messages. And so in the game and play context, what I like to do it is that I don't want to make people too uncomfortable. But at the same time, I wanted to give them the moment. A little bit of nudge is always good. Yes. So they can do things or say things they would not normally do. Oh. And I think that's what art should do, right? And then Stepping by out of your comfort zone. Exactly. And by doing so, now you have to face yourself. And I think that's the, I think that's the experience of art. So, so what we want people to take away is, I think in life, we may start something with a, with a good will yeah. or good goal, right? I'm doing this for good for the humanity or I'm doing this for my family and then whatnot. But as you sort of get in, to the process of it, sometimes you sucked into it and you forget why you were doing it and you were just, it's the things that drive you becomes your goal and then you forget what it was. So at the end, people are left with these uh, AC ATM receipt. That's a list of people that you sold. And then so at that moment, most of audience are like, what have I done today? Like, wow, I sold my mother, father, and I and sold this. And for what? Book. Yeah. And Again, it was it was a game, it was just a play. So you're not really a bad person, but but at the same time it sort of gives you an interesting moment about gives you what a, actually happened. It's like a mirror into your soul. Exactly, exactly. And then depends who you are and yeah. then how old you are. Yeah. 
that oh, yeah. those reflection will be different. And then that's how I want it to be. Because art shouldn't be telling you what you should feel, but actually give you the moment to face it based on your experience. Peter Lee, the director of this wonderful play, Being Faust and to Mephisto, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.